Hello everyone, I welcome you all to Kiki Script. Today in this video I am going to show you how to install the latest version of PHP in a Windows operating system. And after that I am also going to show you how we can easily run a simple hello world PHP program within our console. So do watch the video till the end, I can guarantee you that you will be learning a lot of new things and if these videos are really helping you then please do like, share and subscribe that will really motivate me to make more such videos and I have also started geeky syntax channel so here i am regularly posting coding related videos so please do subscribe this channel and also i have started geeky script vlogging channel if you are interested you can also subscribe this channel now to install php you need to first simply go to your favorite browser open a new tab and just simply type over here php download and hit enter and you will be seeing this www.php.net as a first search result so you need to click on this download link and it's going to redirect to the official site of PHP. So this link I'm going to put right in your description. You can directly use that link to land over to this official site of PHP. And here you can see that we have this Windows download link, right? So you to click on that. And it's going to redirect to the latest version of PHP, which is at the time of making the video is version 8.3.1. So probably when you'll be watching you might see a different version probably it will be 8.3.2 or 3 or whatever version so the process that i am going to show on this video will be pretty much same all right if there is any major changes on the process i'm going to make another video so don't worry on that so you can just simply you know trust this video and watch the video till the end so here you can see we have two options right one is the non-thread safe another is the thread safe so I'm going to recommend you to install the thread safe one. So click on this zip and it's going to start downloading our PHP. Right. So I have already downloaded it. So I'll cancel this. I'll minimize my browser. I'll go to my download directory. And here you can see that the same version is already been downloaded over here. And the file size is 30.7 MB. All right. So this is a zip file. You need to extract it. So right click and click on extract all and click on extract. So what it will do is it's going to extract our PHP on this directory itself. And there you go. You can see it is rightly extracted. All files are rightly over here. So let's first close this. So this is our extracted folder. So if you go inside, you can see all the files. Go our directory back. So what I'm going to recommend you is to rename this file so that we can you know, shorten the file name. We'll no, no longer need a complete file name. So just simply right click, click on and show more options and rename and we are going to rename the file name till uh, version number all right so just simply delete the remaining part so you know short and sweet php uh, version 8.3.1 that's all so now you need to just simply right click on the folder click on cut and we are going to paste that folder within our c drive so right click and paste that folder all right so PHP version 8.3.1 is what we are going to download and we are going to extract the files and we are moving that folder within our C drive. So that's all basically. Now it's time to set our environment path. That's a very important step. You go inside that folder and you need to copy this path. Just right click and copy the path. Right. C colon slash PHP version number folder. So now you can minimize your download directory and you, can, you need to just simply search over here with environ so system environment variable is the one that we are going to modify so it will open system properties window click on environment variable it will open environment variable window here you need to you know under system variables you need to click on path and you need to click on edit so when you click on edit it's going to open this edit the environment variable window here you need to click on new and you need to right click over here and you need to paste that path that c colon slash php dash 8.3.1 path you need to paste it over here so now you can just simply click on ok then again ok and then again ok and now if you again go to this search and just simply type cmd over here it will show you this command prompt open that command prompt and here if you just simply type php space dash dash version and simply hit enter you'll be able to see that the latest version of php version 8.3.1 whatever we have installed is you know properly showing over here right so in this way install latest version of php on a windows operating system now i'll quickly show you how we can you know 
write a simple hello world php program within our windows operating system so i am going to create a new folder and i am going to give the folder name as php program so i'll go inside that folder you can just simply again right click click, click on new and click a text document so let's give the text document as hello world and i'm going to change this dot text extension with dot php and hit enter click on yes so you can see now our this file is changed into of type php file so you might not be seeing this dot php or dot txt extensions so that is because your you know this uh this file name extensions might not be enabled so you need to enable that file name extensions right once you have that enable you'll be able to see this dot php or dot py or whatever right that proper file name extension is what we want to enable so after that you need to just open that uh, with our notepad and i'm going to write a you know a sample code over here so i'll open our angular bracket of php and in that tag and within uh, that tag i'm going to echo hello world right so hello world so now i'll go to file and save this file so you can see it is rightly over here so just simply click on this address bar and type cmd so what it will do is it will open our command prompt right at this location so after typing cmd you need to hit enter and immediately you will be seeing that our command prompt rightly opening at this location itself so it's plain and simple right so now to run you need to just simply type php so php is our command and then it will provide our file name which is hello world and then dot php hit enter immediately you'll be able to see the output hello world whatever you have written within our code so that hello world is immediately you know coming in our console right so in this way you can easily start you know whatever projects or assignments you have got from your school or college on, on php you can immediately start using this php installer but i am also going to recommend you to install xamp as php you know is a server side scripting language so server side means you need to have a server right so xamp will provide you a local you know locally a server side environment so within that server you can you know write any php program and you can run that as well right so for that i have made a detailed video on how to install xamp how to write you know php program how to run that and get that output so everything in detail I have showed you on that Zam video. So please do watch those videos as well. And you can also subscribe our Geeky Syntax channel. So here I'm going to regularly post coding related videos. So please do subscribe. That really motivates me to make more such videos. Thank you very much for watching this video. And God bless you all.